right, good morning. Hopefully you can hear me. So I was able to play the second game in a row against Call of Cthulhu. Um, Spectres, we defeated them 7 to nothing, And then I had enough money to purchase a Slugger Raid um, for Dell. And Dell, as you can see, again, this is part of the role-playing element of sports games now. A lot of sports games have the opportunity to play a character and then develop your character. So uh, role-playing permeates so much now, um, even in video games. Anyway, Dell, uh, the Slugger Raid increased his power and his contact, but then he had a 10% chance to get a bonus plus 3 to his power, and uh, he did acquire that. So that means uh, the dice dropped uh, below 10%. So Dell, who's already having a good year for us, and we are leading the league, has now improved his power. So, very cool. So, I only have 23,000, so I can't purchase any more um, items for players. Um, and again, we did just be Call of Cthulhu. So what we're going to do now is come out. <clears throat> going to go over to our lineup. We're going to show no DH lineup since there is no designated hitter in our league. And we're going to suggest the lineup now that Dell's had some improvements. And Dell is still in the third spot. Um, so that's fantastic. That's really where he should be uh, because behind him is our real power hitter, Gonzalez. Uh, both up. You can see my brother still in a slump, and Stanley now, Freddy, is now in a slump, despite our winning uh, run. So, very cool. And I'll back out of here. I'll save those changes, and we'll look at the standings one more time. So, we are now 12-5 and five, uh, with only 9 games. We see we 28 game leagues, so was that 11 games left on the, on the slate? Uh, Sam, Donnie, and Antoine's team, the Dice Fantastics, are second in the league. So right now, if the playoffs, uh, if the season ended today, uh, the championship game uh, series, seven game, uh, best of seven series, would be us and the Dice Fantastics. Um, but again, we got 11 games left to go. So there could be a lot of changes on this board. And you can see how close it is now. Um, the worst team in the league has seven wins. Um, However, minus 24 run deficit, so when they lose, they get hammered. Uh, the Norsemen, same thing, minus 20 deficit. So, But look, the uh, games, uh, game warden's also 7 and 10, but only, and they're a plus 8, which means they're losing very close games. Um, so if they can start winning those close games, the game wardens might climb back up into the top 4. Uh, again, no playoff. The top two teams face off for a seven-game championship. So far, so good. And again, I increased the difficulty um, for my uh, for my games um, as um, I'm improving uh, my play. So I've increased the difficulty. So now we have some games to simulate here. Uh, the um, Dice Fantastics are playing the rules Lockhorns, and then the Game Wardens face the Norsemen. Uh, and then we will be playing Call of Cthulhu for the third straight time. So let's go ahead and simulate those two in front of us. The Fantastics continue to climb, and the Game Wardens come back there in late innings to get up to 8 and 10. So now the Game Wardens are in the top four. And again, I talk about the Game Wardens because um, that's the other team with a lot of friends uh, in role-playing in the community are on that team. So... Uh, that would be that would be like my other team, right? So this is my team with the old school Grims. We play old school games mostly. It's all the guys I play with online and friends and family. And then uh, the game wardens are uh, a lot of friends in the community that I've spent a lot of time or played a lot of games with, etc. Over the last uh, ten years, so it's like having it's like it's like the two for me the two all star teams of our role playing community. All right, so we have the 8 and 10 uh, We're 12 and 5, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give them the benefit, and I'm going to simulate this game, and we're going to see what happens. Uh, we'll go ahead and sim, and hopefully we can win this simmed game. Uh, nope, the Spectres win it one nothing. So we've dropped a game. The Spectres get an, uh, a shutout win. Uh-oh, and I have a manager moment. You've taken the last curveball energy bite. Who are you going to make restock the curveball energy? So I have eaten the last energy bite, and I can now tell one of the players in the uh, locker room, uh, you need to restock those energy bites. My brother's in a slump, minus 16, and myself, I'm going to tell myself to do it. What, are you, are you talking about accountability? Now, I'm going to alienate my brother further. He may not resign with us. He's an A-minus player, good defenseman, 
he's in a hitting slump. He's at uh, 38. So if I tell him to do it, he's going to be angry enough. He may not come back next year. Let's see if we can drive my brother to go play for another team in the, in the world. And he's now down to 23 loyalty. He is not happy. You invited to a pet wedding. Who do you bring as your plus one? Well, first of all, I've never heard of a pet wedding in my entire life. That's just the craziest shit I've ever heard of. Uh, and I gotta take my buddy Dell. I mean, if we're gonna go, if we're gonna go to a wedding of any type, I gotta roll with my bro uh, Dell. Role play cafe must make an appearance, and so Dell's gonna be uh, going with me to a pet wedding, if for anything, to see what the hell a pet wedding is. So uh, here we go. Um, so Dell's gonna improve his commitment to me. So I've alienated my brother by asking him to rest. I ate the final one, and then I asked my brother to restock it. So again, we got some we got some narrative going on here, right? You can start to see over the course of a season a little narrative happening, uh, which is fun. All right, the newbie nightmares. Um, no power for this team. They are a balanced team. They have contact speed, defense, rotation, and uh, but no power. But they are considered balanced. We are extreme rotational aces. I mean, see, that's the dice fantastics. What the heck? Where are we at? We're going to be playing. I don't even see us on the board. Where are we? Um, oh, my, my, my. Who do we play next? Uh, wow. So we don't play again until the Norsemen. So there's a lot of games in front of us. There's five games ahead of us. So that's, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and simulate these five games. Man, the Fantastics have won three in a row, and they're 12 and 6. The Norsemen, who we face next, have won a game. Oh, the Nightmares finally punched uh, the Fantastics in the nose, and the Game Wardens can't come, can't find a way to win four in a row. The Norsemen still winning. Holy cow, what a tight race. So the Game Wardens have climbed to the top four. They've now dropped again into the bottom two. But look how tight it is. The difference between the worst team in the league... And the best team in the league is only five games. And in baseball, that sounds like a lot, but in baseball, that is a doable deal. So we got a tight league going right now. Uh, we face the Norsemen. They're 9-11. and 11. Um, And let's go ahead and go to player development see if we have any money. Uh, we only have 116000 so not good. We can't buy anything. Um, let's go back to my team now after uh, a, a couple of games. Let's go ahead and man we are slumping guys lee's slumping stanley slumping and i'm slumping so there's some animosity between my brother and i in the locker room after i uh, asked him to restock that stuff he's uh fortunately dell and gonzalez are two power hitters our two best all-around players are probably uh, doing well and freddie's still in a slump we got to find a way to get him out of that and about the only way i can do that is to play probably so let's go ahead and play against the Norsemen. None of us uh, yet on the channel have seen the Norsemen, so let's go ahead and play this game, and we'll have a chance to see who these guys are. My brother's leading off in a slump. Oh, our pitcher, Yellow, is in a slump too. Damn. I'm not certain I want to start him in a slump. Let me see if I can... Let me see if I have a pitcher that might do better that's not as... Well, there's Jeff. I like Jeff Mathis. Whoops. How about Mason? Oh, Bill is up, and Bill is a killer, man. Okay, I'm going to let uh, Yellow uh, sit this one out, and we're going to go ahead and start Bill in today's game. Bill had a great game for me in the last uh, game I played on the channel. I think he pitched a perfect game, if I remember right. No hits, no runs, no errors, so let's see. The Norsemen, I want you to see that they're power hitters. They have great power plate, great contact, great um, decent pitching, and great um, um, pen, bullpen, which means pitchers coming off the bench. So this, uh, but this team is power hitters, so we got to be very careful here. Dale's going to make that easy. Stop at third. Third baseman, number 60. Samuel Turnpike. Nice slider. A little slider action. Oh, David with a great catch at first. He had to cross his body to catch that. That was pretty pretty smooth. We're going to give a little curveball up and inside. This can be dangerous. A curve dropping high uh, in baseball is generally not good, but we got that. All right. 
It's going to be interesting to see who ends up in the championship. Oh, David's going to make... Oh, no, that went over his head big time. I thought we might get another stop from David. Lee throwing to second to stop the advancing runner. All right. Capture number 51, Carlito. Right. Odell, get it. Yes, nice. So two outs in that inning for Dell, who's uh, really... I don't know who our MVP will be this year as a team, but uh, there's a couple of guys that have been remarkably consistent. And we might not have won as many games without him. Dell's going to be on that short list for our team MVP. League MVP is decided by the computer. And look at that. I think we got a home run for my brother on the opening. Holy cow. That's a way to get my brother out of a slump right there. Whew. He's not happy with us, though. I have a feeling he won't be back next year. Oh, I thought I had a dinger there. Oh, we may get back to back. No, that's going to drop. That's going to drop. Brilliant. <clears throat> All right, Dale. Dale. Uh, and we got we got Dell some slugger aid, and we improved his power with a 10% trait gamble, and he got it. And wow. Okay, here's our cleanup. This guy is a home run power hitter. Let's see if we can't get. Nope, it's going to be the end of the inning, I think. But it's one nothing us. Okay, so Bill, uh, I'm finding out that Bill's a pretty great pitcher here. Nice. Did he just fart? I think he just farted. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, Dale can't get to that. It's a foul ball anyway, but. Ooh, popped up. Come on, go get it. Go get it, Todd. Go get it, Todd. Yeah, there you go. We should be getting back to our uh, Tuesday, Wednesday night uh, gaming here online in the next week or so. Uh, a lot of people have been on vacation. I was gone for uh, family reasons as well as taking a break uh, due to health reasons. Still not 100% on my side as far as health. But I think everybody should be getting back from their vacations and we should be able to get going here. I think Todd and, uh, Todd and Del both, I think, were gone for a week or two weeks. So hopefully... We're going to be getting back to here. Dang, they are hitting everything. And these guys definitely don't want to go down without a fight. Got him. She fought that. She fought that hard. Thea Real. Okay, we're going to drop that curveball in right there. Now we got it. We got it past her. Power pitch. Dangerous because... They can get out of control, but they're faster, more powerful pitches. And now we hit her with a slider. Good eye. She's got a good eye. And up top. Whew. Okay, we got to go fastball on our hands. Make this, we're going to jam her. Dang, and she was ready for that, but Freddie's going to make the out. Beautiful. Now we might get another low score win here. All right, Freddie's been in a slump too. Let's see if we can't get Freddie going. Yeah, nice. So the North Norsemen are the only team in the league that doesn't have a role playing theme. Um, I just thought it would be kind of fun to have that odd team that has no, I mean, you know, it's just a team. Uh,. They're like that odd team in the league that said, nah, we're not role players, eh, but we'll sign up and we'll get our team going in this uh, Frank, these, uh, pro league. All right, here I am up, and I have been in a slump, of course. Oh, she gave me an easy ball, too. That was like batting practice. <sighs> so, we got a hit as well. So my brother, Fred, and I have all done some damage in this game. 
here comes our fearless leader, Todd. Oh. Come on, Todd. Oh, that's a bat. I should never have swung at that. That is my fault, Todd. Oh, she just gave us a pigeon, and I missed it. And I totally missed it. All right, this is our pitcher. I don't expect much from him, so we're going to try a bunt. See if we can't advance the runners. Um, nope, they got him. I was going to bunt there, and I hit the wrong button. <laughs> By the lair of the spider queen. Now, if that ain't a role-playing... That's pretty funny right there. The Lair of the Spider Queen. That sounds like a D&D module. Uh, fits right into our role-playing baseball theme. All right, that was pretty cool. The announcer says some crazy stuff in this game. It keeps it fun, and we're not going to get that. That's uh, it's off the wall. And Lee throwing for second. That'll hold him in second, but that was a great hit. The pitcher, number 44. Okay, my stamina is starting to dip, so I'm going to have to think about bringing out my pitcher here in a minute. Because they will they will shell him so fast before I know what's going on. Stay with the fastball. Power. Oh, great shot. Got him. I'm hoping they try to steal here. Putting everything in there. Oh, Dell, make the play, Dell, make the play. Nice. Number sixty, Samuel Turnpike. All right, here we go. Oh no, no. Oh, that should have been. We should have paid the price for that one. That was a bad pitch. I put it right in his sweet spot. David, pick it up. I foul ball, though. Nice. I think we're going to win this. We are at home, so all we have to do is survive the top of the fourth with the lead, and we will win. Man, they're giving us some easy balls here. All right, my brother's up again. He had a hit earlier, our home run earlier. He's our seen, he's our lone home run, lone score. And I think he'll get on here. Nope. All right, Camilla, here we go. Camilla. Oh, that was a bad choice. Oh, she might add to our lead, make it easier for us to win this. She sure does, man. Shot to the corner. Good job. And now it is two. So two single run homers in today's game. And now Dale up. Capable of hitting the homer. And he gets one through. That'll put him on base. So we've given ourselves a little cushion to win this game with another home run. And now Rentworthy can drive in two more. Oh, right between Dale's legs, lined ground ball. He had to step over that to get to second. All right, Freddie. Oh, man. Oh, I sent both Dell and I, or both Dale and... Damn it, Freddy has been struggling of late. He ain't happy about that. He broke his bat to pieces. All right, the Norsemen have one more chance to tie this game or take the lead. If not, we win it. Oh, shoot. Well, there it is. Tying run's going to be at the plate. So there. Uh, tying run is at the home plate now. So if this guy gets a big hit, it's tie game. 
Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Now the go ahead run is at home plate. Yeah, we're gonna have to sub the pitcher, I think. Uh, it's time for us to make that pitching change. I like muscles. I'm gonna bring in Leonidas Muscles, um, relief pitcher. We need a double play ball here, guys. Double play ball. Power pitch. Oh, damn. Right into a sweet spot. We got it by him. And a little curveball. Drop it in. It's one out. All right. Double play now. Wraps this game up. All right. Here we go. Low and away. Hide inside on her hands. Oh, no, no, no. Curve ball. Going to drop it through the zone into the bottom of the plate. And she got a piece of it. And now we're going to give a two-finger fastball. Two-finger fastball high and inside right on her hands. Jammer. We don't have a choice now. Low and inside power pitch. And it's a dribbler. No, we didn't turn the double, and we failed to get either, and bases are loaded. If they just get if they just get a good hit, they're going to tie this game, folks. We've got to get them out. Unbelievable. I can't believe I let them load the bases. Muscles. Man, he is fighting for this, isn't he? I can't believe I failed to get any out on that last hit dinger. All right, one more and we win. Bases loaded. Oh, damn. And their power hitter. He's a rally starter and a big hack. Clutch. So Muscles got, has clutch, and it just kicked in. So Muscles should be able to throw some clutch pitches here. So I'm going to trust that his trait helps me get through this final batter with his clutch rating. All we need is one more strike, and we're going to win this ball game. Power pitch inside, right on the dime, baby. Oh, and he caught the edge of that. Power pitch, low and outside. And David can make the play, and he does. Game over. David snatches the line driver at first base. And we're going to continue to hold the top spot in the league. What a tight game. And they could have at any moment taken the lead there in that inning. So uh, I don't think we broke out of our slumps, but we'll see. Bill got the win. Muscles got the save with a clutch rating kicking in. Kamala is our first player. She hit a home run, an RBI, and scored a run. My brother hit a home run, RBI, and scored a run. And our pitcher pitched a brilliant game. Um, Beal, so I'm happy I started him over my slumping uh, ace. And we ended up getting that win from the Norsemen, our first game against the Norsemen, if I remember right. Okay, there are two games left to simulate here. Let's go ahead and simulate them. Uh, the Nightmares just beat the Dice Fantastics. The Wardens need to keep winning, and they can't do it. Call of Cthulhu beat the Wardens twice in a row. Let's go down to the standings now. See how quickly the standings have changed in just a few minutes. So we're still at the top. Uh, Dice Fantastics are second. So right now it looks like we may face them in the championship game if things hold. The Spectres finally over 500 uh, with an 11-10 with two victories over the Game Wardens. And the Game Wardens somehow are dead last in this league with a plus eight run differential. So it is bizarre as hell. So normally teams that are like that, as you can see above them, the Norsemen are minus 19, the Newbies are minus 20. The Gate Wardens with a plus 8 should be a 500 team. So there is something going on there. They cannot win close games. That is so cool. I don't know what it is, but they can't. Now we have $209,000. I might be able to spend it. Nope, everything's too expensive to upgrade anybody. So let's go back to my team real quick, take a look at the lineup, suggest our lineup, and let's see. 
So now I'm leading off, Stanley in a slump behind me, Bravo in the same spot, Gonzalez in the same spot. My brother Lee pushed down to sixth, so his slump drops him into six. And David, of course, will be playing in this game. He's in a slump at first base. Unbelievable. So for some reason, despite our record, we've got a lot of guys that are um, kind of on a down point, which is really fascinating. Um, let's go out of here and let's save that. And let's go over to our league leaders now, take a gander. So right now, today, if the league ended, uh, Kylie Dapper would win the MVP. Um, she's a pitcher, obviously. Jose, uh, reliable, that is Jose, uh, for the game wardens. Uh, he would be second in the MVP voting with five home runs. Our guy, Ritworthy Gonzalez, is third on the list. Uh, Betrix Levine is fourth. Eloy, for the game wardens, is fifth in the home run, in the MVP voting. And Dell is sixth in the MVP uh, voting. So it's a pretty interesting race. And again, two of the top five players in the league for MVP voting play for the game wardens. And the game wardens are 8 and 12, cannot get out of the cellar, or are in, unfortunately dropped into the cellar. So you just keep thinking at some point they're going to blow up and maybe win four or five games in a row. So I don't know. It's amazing. Dell leads the league in batting average of 513. Jose leads the league with home runs. And on his team with him, Karen is fourth in home runs. Eloy is, uh, excuse me, Kurt is second in home runs. Eloy is fourth in home runs. And Billy Sullivan is fifth. So the game boards have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four of the top home run hitters in the league play for the game wardens. But So basically what that tells me is they're either hitting home runs or they're not getting runs. All right, runs batted in. Our guy leads the league with 17 RBIs. That's a big deal. Jose, second with 13 runs batted in. And Eloy behind him with 11. So when they score, they score big. They just can't win close games. That's what that tells me. Batting, Dell, of course, is on base average is remarkable at 525. Rentworthy, 420. Uh, there you go. Uh, slugging percentage, it's Jose Reliable with a almost an 8. 79.5% slugging percentage. That's unbelievable. Rentworthy and Dell behind him. Bang, bang. They're all tied, actually, at, at number one. And then Karen Kirk, and then, of course, Eloy at 652 down there. On base plus slugging is Dell. So Dell right now is by far the most is the most effective uh, hitter in the league, and Rentworthy's right behind him. Unbelievable. And batting in third. Okay, hits Dell with the most in the league with twenty. Eloy with seventeen. Jose with sixteen. Uh, extra base hits that would be doubles and triples. It's Jose, Eloy, Sullivan, and Kirk. Are you kidding me? That's Unbelievable. The top four extra base hitters all play for one team and they are at they are eight and twelve. That's a, I can't quite figure out what their problem must be pitching. They just can't they've got two pretty good pitchers in both Anthony and Ivan, so I don't know what's going on. Strikeouts. Billy Sullivan has been K'd twelve times. That's part of their problem. Okay. Run scored, Jose has the most runs scored in the league along with Dell at eleven. Eloy has nine runs scored behind them. Antoine, com uh, Complex Games Apologist, has nine runs scored. Stolen bases. Wow, Jose leads the league in, uh, with three stolen bases. So Jose, the reliable, is... He and Dell, man, are really phenomenally consistent. Uh, all right, pitching. Uh, again, the best pitcher right now with four wins is Kylie da uh, Dapper of the Newbie Nightmares. My pitcher, who just won that game we watched, uh, are played. Uh, Chesley Beal, uh, four wins as well. Anthony from uh, Anthony at Runeslinger uh, on YouTube. Uh, Anthony has three wins. So, again, three of the eight wins for the Game Wardens, Anthony has won. Sam, over at Chalice and Chains, has three wins for his team. Uh, my ace has three wins. And... Uh, uh, Muscles has three wins coming off the bench in relief. So he's managed to win games that he was behind when he came in. And the game wardens have another pitcher at the bottom there with two wins. 
So five of their eight wins, the game wardens, two pitchers have earned. That means the rest of their pitching staff not getting the job done, right? Earn run average, the best in the league, is Kingston uh, Kylie, uh, who's right now league MVP. If it, the, the league ended today, highly dapper, um, pretty sweet. All right, and uh, I don't see Anthony on here, so when Anthony must be giving up runs, um, he's not on there. And saves, uh, Brian, st- still casting agency on YouTube, uh, and plays with us. He's our editor for our Darky Jaman book, and he plays with us in Darky Jaman. Brian uh, has one save for his team, the Game Wardens. So the Game Wardens are on these lists. Something's got to break for him. Uh, let's see here, pitching Jeff. Jeff has the most strikeouts in the league, uh, average, I should say, per nine innings. Um, Sam has uh, the best walk ratio there. Jeff is uh, fourth on that list. And strike-to-walk ratio is Jeff and Sam are in the top three. That's pretty cool. Uh, Sam, Chalice, and Chains. And there you have it. That brings everybody up to speed with what's happening around the league. We don't have any money to develop a player, and our next game is against the Norsemen. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sim this one since I just beat him. Let's sim it and give him a chance to see what happens when the ratings just match up. And we win at 5-2, to two, so we should. I think we are a better team. And now we have uh, one game ahead of us uh, before the next Norseman game. And the Spectres continue to win with a big win over the uh, Nightmares. Uh, wow. So look how close things are getting at the top. All right, I'm going to go ahead and send this Norseman game again. Uh, see if I have enough money to spend here. I do. I could get Signal to Cryptor for myself. Or I could purchase Horse Homeowns for Ron, who uh, comes off the bench for us as a backup player with great RBI, great clutch. I won't spend anything on Ron because I don't want to accidentally lose his clutch rating. He's a 15% chance that he could lose that rating, and I do not want to do that. No one else. I can't afford anything else right now. So I'm going to go ahead and buy Signal Decryptor for my character, or for me. Hack the opponent's team's electronic signal devices to gain an edge. So we're going to cheat, and basically. So I'm going to cheat. Jason Goatman is going to cheat with a Signal Decryptor to steal signals. So what the hell, let's buy this and see if um, I get that plus 15 bonus arm. No, I don't get it. But I do improve my arm three points for what that's worth. Uh, as an outfielder, it is important to have a, a good arm. All right, so I'm down to 21,000 in reserve. Um, and uh, the Norseman game, I'm going to go ahead and sim real quick. Again, um, takes me out of the equation. The Norsemen are going to get us finally. So we beat the Norsemen two of three games, but the Norsemen do get us in that next game. Uh, manager moment. There are only one muffin without raisins left on the table. Who gets it? So I can give one of these two guys the muffin without raisins. Uh, I'm going to give I'm going to give uh, our backup catcher, I mean a, ba- a relief pitcher, Moro, that muffin, and he'll be happy about that. However, it's going to alienate uh, Jedediah Chang. So at least Hal will come back. Maybe Chang will resign with us. We'll see. We're a, we're a winning team with a championship. It's going to affect whether the guys want to play with us uh, next year, I think, anyway. So guess what? We face the game wardens. Um, so let's go look at those standings. So we are at the top, 14-7, and seven, with a plus 24 run differential. The game wardens are 8-12 and 12 at the bottom of the tables with a plus 8 run differential. So they have the second best run differential in the entire, second third in the entire league and are uh, only with 8 wins. So that's who we play next. Uh, and Jeff will get the start for us. And Anthony, finally we're going to get to see Runeslinger pitch. Uh, Runeslinger has a trait, consistent. His velocity and his junk ball are fantastic. He's a left-handed pitcher. I have no idea whether these guys are right or left-handed. I don't know them all that well. I mean, I know my friends and my family. But I don't know. But I have Anthony uh, as a left-handed pitcher, uh, which is generally more valuable in baseball. So I just made Anthony a left-handed pitcher. But uh, And he is 3-1 and one with a 6.46 ERA. Jeff is 1-2 and two with a 6 ERA. Um, and I think our slump, for the most part, is over which is not a good time for Anthony to run into. That's right. It looks like all of our players except Chang 
are out of their negative uh, out of their negative Nellies and let's go ahead and reset lineup okay so that's done I'm gonna go ahead and play this what the hell let's see Anthony finally Runeslinger is gonna pitch against us and against one of my closest childhood friends Jeff as the pitch opposing pitcher so here we go this is gonna be fun and my brother are gonna lead off here and we are at the game wardens which means they are going to have the benefit of home advantage um, here we go. And they're Whackers Will uh, because they are a power hitting team. So I put them at Whackers Will Stadium. That's what it's called because they are home run Whackers. And sure enough, they've proved to be just that. There's a heavy shadow here. So let's see if it affects how well I can see the ball in this heavy shadow. And Anthony with a lot of pitches and good pitchers. And Anthony gets the first out against my brother. Boom, just like that. All right, Freddie's up. Anthony's got one out already. And again, another ground ball pitch. And Anthony's going to get two in a row. Boom, boom. So Rune Slinger puts two away just like that. You better watch it with Kennel here, though. Ooh, got me swinging at an outside ball. Oh, so Anthony, Anthony's pitching some pretty good stuff right now. Oh, now I'm just fighting off anything to stay alive. And that's a pop-up. So Anthony's going to get three up, three down, and we're moving on to the second already. Wow. Okay. Okay. All right, their, their man, Finn Tanner. All right, Jeff, we need Jeff to pitch a perfect game today. And, yeah, that ain't it. That ain't it, Jeff, right there. So they got a man on already. Little change up. Eloy. All right. We got to be careful with Eloy because he is the third best home run hitter in the league behind Jose and Kirk on his team as well, Karen Kirk. Yes, we got him. All right, so we're able to make Eloy fish the corners, and he couldn't get anything. And all right, Karen Kirk, here it is. Now, again, she is the other big one, so let's do this. Let's go Powerball outside, see if we can get her to chase. Yep, and she chased it. Now we're going to go change up inside. Ooh, we missed it. Let's go slider uh, in the corner below. Hopefully we can get her here. Yep. And curveball. We're going to drop it right in the basket. And we got her. Two in a row for Jeff. Beautiful. Two Ks in a row. And here's Jose. They're clean up. Again, he leads the league in all, almost all the batting, uh, well, home run, power hitting. Dell would be the other one, right, on our team. Ooh, snuck power pitch by him. We're going to go with power pitches against Jose. The danger of that is we throw a wild pitch. Wow, one more. We're going to send Jose to the bench. Oh, that was huge. Can we get that? Oh, we couldn't make that catch. Damn it. That was close. Uh, he caught that. He caught it a little better. We're going to give him a slider. See if we can't give him a, a bending ball here. And nope, he's still banging him off. Let's go on his hands. Let's jam him. Power pitch on his hands. Whew. Wow, this is not. All right, let's see if he can hit the curve. He can't, and we end up to get three Ks against their three power hitters. All right, Anthony facing our best player rating-wise. He stays away from giving him an early good look. Ooh, beautiful pitch. I thought that was a ball for sure. Oh, no, Anthony with some perfect pitches. Oh, and that's out. Damn. Tanner makes the catch for Anthony out there. All right, it's me versus Anthony here. I was hoping we'd see a game with Anthony in it. That's fun. Oh, and I think I just sent Anthony a little juice. Home run ball for me. Yep, baby. How about them apples? The old school owners get a home run off of the game wardens with a 445-foot shot. 
Only my second home run of the season. Jesus, are you kidding me? And now he has to face Dell. Here we go. Dell, by far the best all-around player in the league right now. And Anthony forces the pop out. Wow, brilliant. David, here we go. Our first baseman, David. And David catches the tip of that. That's an easy out. My fault. I should have let that go. And it's one nothing. What a game. All right, Feather Anger. Let's give her some change up. Slow pitch right in her wheelhouse. She didn't like it. She didn't go for it. We got one in. Uh, she tips that off. We need one more strike, and she's sitting down. Jeff is playing a dangerous game with these power pitches, and there's a good hit. All right, here we go. Whew. Change up. Oh, good pitch, Jeff. All right, curveball right in the wheelhouse of this guy, and he does chip it. Power pitch inside, Jeff. Come on. Got him. Sit down. Billy Sullivan, he's their other big home run hitter. Of course, they're all home run hitters for this Game Wardens team. Oh, no. And curveball right there. Damn. Change up. Oh, nope. I can't believe it. That's going to advance. Oh, my God. And then I missed the play out there. I was too busy looking at the base runners, and I missed picking up the ball. Shoot. Well, if they get one single, they're going to tie the game, possibly take the lead. Jeff, come on, buddy. Let's go inside, see if she falls for a ball here on the edge. She did. Let's change it up. Let's change up that speed now. Confuse her with fast and slow. Got it. And power pitch. High and inside, Jeff. You got to nail it. Oh, damn. Slider ball. She ain't biting. Change up. Got her. Man. Her mojo just went down. And Anthony, the pitcher is up. So in our league, pitchers have to bat. So Anthony gets in the ninth spot, gets his shot at the plate. It's pitcher versus pitcher now. Can Anthony be the one to bring in the tying or go-ahead run? Wouldn't that be cool? And we're going to give him fast and slow. We're going to mix up speeds. Got him. And again, pitchers generally aren't great hitters. So all we have to do is get through Anthony. Oh, and he's going to have a shot. David misses the play. That's going to tie the game. Unbelievable, that's going to tie the game. So Anthony gets an RBI and helps his cause to avoid the loss. I don't believe it. So Anthony's on first. I could not get to that ground ball with David. It was a perfect hit. All right. Come on, Jeff. Focus. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's Lee out there, makes the final out, and it's 1-1 going into the top of the third. Anthony helps his cause and gets the run back that he gave up on my home run. Oh, great pitch. Oh, good job, Todd. Oh, that's a great play by Karen Kirk, saving Anthony there on that dinger. All right, pitcher versus pitcher. Jeff gets a great hit. No, it's going to be flagged down. Damn it. All right, it's my brother who's in a uh, batting, horrific season batting against Anthony, who's their ace. Oh, that was a good pitch, but Eloy makes the play, and that's it. I don't believe it, man. What another great game. Last time we played these guys, it was a, uh, they, both games we won by one run each. All right, looks like it's Eloy. So what are we going to do with Eloy here? Um. Let's give him a change up low on the corner. But I missed the target. Let's give him a curve ball right across the plate. He liked it, but he just couldn't put it into play. We're going to give him a slider high and inside. All right, power ball. Power pitch, far side of the plate. 
and another power pitch on his hands. Let's see if we can get Eloy out again. Nope. But we make the play at short and over to first, and we got it. Eloy out. Karen Kirk has four home runs this year. Bats 333. She is no joke. Nice. I think we can pitch the corners on Karen and get her here. No, I think she may have just taken the lead. Oh, damn, Jeff. No, my brother makes the wall play at the wall. That was beautiful, Lee. So, Lee, the one thing Lee is, is a defensive stud. So, here it is. Jose, an A-plus rated player. He has five home runs on the season. And this would be the go-ahead run if we let Jose get a dinger on us. And we can't make the play. So, Jose's going to make a single. And now the uh, anger. We've got to get out of this inning, Jeff. Change up. High and inside. Oh, shit. Come on, Freddy. Make the play at the wall, Freddy. Oh, my lord. Home run. So Jeff gives up the big home run. And they're up now by three runs, I think. So, again, you can see the game wardens are at the bottom of the league, but I, I honestly don't know how the hell that is. As they, um, not only are they a plus run uh, 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 differential, uh, they are in the leading categories in almost every batting statistic. Oh, Jeff failed to get that. Shit. So that was too hot to handle for the pitcher. Came back at him. At least he didn't get hurt. Slider, we got to get out of this, man, and win the game in the final stretch. Ah, oh. man, it's three to one, and they got men on. All right, Jeff's in trouble. It's time to bench Jeff. They've got me reeling now. We're gonna bring in our clutch pitcher, Muscles, and hopefully Muscles can finish this inning for us. Okay, pop up. Todd will make the play. Todd will make the play. Whew, thank God. They have eight hits, three runs. Unbelievable. They are shell. They shelled Jeff, basically. Um, not a good outing for Jeff. All right, Stanley. Freddie, you got to get us going, buddy. We need two runs. Oh, and Anthony with another great pitch. Come on, Freddie. Oh, not that time. He threw the same pitch. I wasn't going to fall for it twice. Oh, my land. How did he get by that? Anthony pitching a great game here. Oh, come on. Nope. Another ground ball. So if Anthony gives up anything, they're ground balls or pop-ups. So he is definitely an ace. And that might be an answer. Did we get a second home run on Anthony? No, we did not. A pop-out. <sighs> so this is pretty much it. We don't get something here. It's... It's over. They're going to steal a victory from us in their house. Nope, game over. Kirk. So Anthony wins 3-1. Nice. All right, well, we're going to give Runeslinger a little kudos there. Great game. Pitched a perfect game. Not perfect, but a great game. Uh, and there are bats shelled Jeff. Eight hits, three runs. We had one hit which was a home run by me for the lone score, and then Anthony shut everybody down. Unbelievable. So I was the only bright spot hitting the ball. Anger had two runs, two hits, two RBIs uh, on a solo home run, and that put us away as uh, Jose got the other run thanks to that home run hit by uh, Anger. Wow, and Lynn gets the loss. Uh, not good. He is 1-3 in three on the season. Muscles is 3 now, 0-2. Oh uh, he's not credited with anything as uh, Jeff went out of the game losing and nothing changed. Anthony gets the win. He is now 4-1 and one, uh, and really pitched almost a perfect game. Wow, he ain't even getting a player of the game. Uh, of course, Featherwood, she hit a home run that, that put the game away. 
I got the lone home run for us, so it makes sense I would be here. And then Billy Sullivan had two hits today. One of them was a double. And he, for the Game Wardens, is the third uh, player of the uh, game. Anthony did not end up in the player of the game. That's a, that's a shocker, but he is 4-1 and one for his Game Wardens. And the first two games we faced the Game Wardens at home, we won both those by one run each. This time in their house, they get us by two runs. So, fascinating. So let's go ahead and simulate the next two games. And Call of Cthulhu, they're keeping pressure on us. So we face the Game Wardens again. This time we'll face Lando Shields uh, as their other pitcher. Lando, and let's go ahead and look at development here. Yeah, we don't have enough money to develop anyone. Uh, let's look at our team, and let's look at our lineup, see what they suggest. Okay, so my brother, again, his mojo down. Shoot. So I don't believe my brother is going to be back with us. Um next year. It'll be interesting to see. Old school. So we're still at the top despite losing that one to uh, the Game Wardens. The Game Wardens went from the bottom to uh, uh, sixth. I don't know, fifth. Excuse me. Fifth in the league. They're plus ten now. Um, tied for second best run differential. So again, as I said, the Game Wardens could get on a roll and wrap off four or five victories and could end up in the top two. Especially with a plus ten run differential. Um, in Call of Cthulhu, man, every time I think they're going to wash out, they win a couple in a row. And the dice, fantastic. Sam's team, Donnie, Sam, are hanging tight to us. So if we can't get some against the Game Wardens, Dice Fantastics might steal our top spot. And I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today. This has been a pretty long video. I don't want to go too long. And the next game I play on the channel will be our second game at the Game Wardens Wacker Will Stadium and with a chance for them to steal uh, a second game against us. So we'll see what happens. But uh, thank you, everybody, for watching. Everybody have a great uh, weekend.